there was that one time at WrestleMania where they lost the tag team titles to Braun Strowman and a kid named Nicholas. You remember that? How dare you bring that up, Saxton? That's old funny, dude. Byron. That's ridiculous. Thanks, there was nothing entertaining about that. It was a travesty. Sheamus and Cesaro didn't know how to handle that. Well, at least they rebounded from it ever since. The Cesaro section is out in full force with a Swiss cyborg tonight. Cesaro has to be considered one of the pound for pound strongest competitors in WWE. And speaking of pound, he's got the strongest uppercuts ever seen in a the champion into the cover. There's a quick kick out by Big A. Gonna take more than that. Boom! Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Impact and then some. Oh, a European uppercut. Abuses him with an elbow. seen this move tonight. Challenger starting to falter. Well, he knew the champion wasn't going to go down easy here tonight. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? I'm not going to go so far as to say he can't win this match, but things certainly aren't looking Ouch. good for him right now. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Brian, I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars... Cesaro is in position. What an uppercut. I'm not sure how much he has left. Cesaro with nice contact there. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Talk about sending a message. What power, what a slam, what damage. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. Oh no, here we go. Sheamus sees it. Before Big E devastated opponents in the ring, the Florida native was a defensive lineman at the University. And a far by Sheamus. Good grief. The champ's in a real bad place right now. That's a huge opening for Sheamus. But can Sheamus capitalize? When this guy's on, look out. Crushing blow to the jaw. 
Sheamus is looking to end this right now. Big E's athletic career was certainly impressive before the big man. Brilliant kick! Come on, Big E! Wow, let's see that again. Man, he is simply a walking highlight reel. And here's Cesaro into the quick cut. Takes him down in a major way, too. Sheamus with a big shot there. Ooh, that was brutal. Boot right in the jaw. Oh, and knee. Lights out. And it's Big E showing some agility. All right, that was impressive. Perfectly timed slam. Cesaro definitely starting to crack here. It appears his opponent has his number right now. You know, I thought this match was going to be much more tightly contested. I guess that's not the case, though. The big ending! That might have done it, Cole. Big E may have just put this one... For the pin and the win! Yes! The elbow drop lands. Cesaro showing signs that it could be ending soon. Swiss we need to rally soon. It just doesn't appear to be the champ's night. Cesaro needs to swing the match back in his direction. Think? He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Watch out. E-Train might be pulling into the station. Impressive show of strength here, guys. Yeah, but think about all the energy this is likely sapping. How impressive was that? Just sending your foe crashing to the canvas. Cesaro and Sheamus are two dominant, powerful alpha males. They don't just adjust to the world, the world adjusts to them. But when Ambrose and Rollins captured the bar as tag titles, Cesaro and Sheamus' third title victory was bound to be their titles. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. And there it is again. Reflecting on what Byron said, Sheamus and Cesaro is in position. Uh, Cesaro comes up big there. Wow. Looks like another victory for the champ, Michael. Kobe Kingston looks stunned by that. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. It might be time for him to recharge that battery. All he has to do is get to his corner and make the tag. Throw kick! Come on, Big E! Here we go. Take a look at this again. Yeah, that was nice. Oh, man, what a hit. Oh, his shoulders are down. Look out! A devastating splash does damage here. And that's it! This one is over! These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that was an amazing contest.